So you want to know what's going on in your neighborhood. Many of us are taking to social media to make sure we're keeping an eye on things, but police aren't a huge fan of the ever popular Facebook groups or apps. As 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara found out, police want everyone going back to good old fashioned neighborhood watch groups. You see a burglary happening on your street or you hear about a recent home invasion. So what do you do? Recently, it's been common to post about it somewhere like this website and app next door or maybe in one of these Facebook groups, Eastsiders Taking Action, Las Vegas Crime Watch or Emergency Incidents. While police admit these groups are great for networking, tonight they're saying think twice before engaging in them. We also have to be careful about misinformation. Police say these groups end up acting like a game of telephone where many versions of the truth get posted and no one really knows what to believe. We don't want that to drive a level of fear too in our neighborhoods is that, you know, we want healthy neighborhoods. Police have a solution. They want you and your neighbors to form an official neighborhood watch group. A huge difference and so do all my tenants. Susan Powell has been a block captain for her existing neighborhood watch group for about six months. Everybody's feeling safer. We've got signs posted, we have cameras now, it's getting bigger and stronger all the time now. When you have a neighborhood watch group, you have a captain, like Susan, acting as a coordinator and a direct messenger between your neighborhood and police. It's more understanding and everybody's got more detail to exactly what's going on rather than the he said, she said, and it gets blown out of proportion to what it is. Currently, there's about 1,700 active neighborhood watch groups within Metro's jurisdiction. More than half of those are in the Northwest, 57 in the Northeast where I was tonight, which police say is not nearly enough. If you want to start one, just call your area command. In the studio, Gina Lazara, 13 Action News. Gina, thank you.